So today's video is for Casey and I'm going to show her how to do a Kimura sweep. So recently her and I were going back and forth talking about some uh, different techniques that she could use, fundamental techniques that would be useful for her um, from full guard primarily. And I asked her if she knew the Kimura sweep, the hip bump sweep, and she said she didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a, a, a really basic couple of ideas for the Kimura sweep and why I show it to my white belts and why it might be useful to you. And hopefully this is helpful to you, as well, uh, Casey, and also any of you guys that are white belts that are a little bit newer that are looking for some basic fundamental sweeps from full guard. Today's assistant is Corey, and he's going to be my uke for your viewing pleasure. All right, guys, so let's talk about the, 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 the basics of the movement that you're going to be doing first. It's very similar to a, like, kind of has a technical stand-up feel to it. So if you've ever done jiu-jitsu where you do this technical stand-up here, what's going to happen is we're going to open the guard after we get the person's hands on the mat or off to the side. We're going to shrimp out slightly sit up to our elbow and our hand. This is one of the biggest problems I see people have with the sweep is a lot of times new people try to almost do like a crunch and they have a lot of trouble. It's more of like a, when you open your guard, you sit up and you kind of lean up like you're going for like, gonna watch Saturday morning cartoons and then boom, right there up to your hand. Now you're gonna end up in this position with one foot up. This leg's gonna be trapping the, the legs on them as you'll see in a second. And then when we get ready to go, we're gonna trap the arm, bridge up and then come up. So let's start with Corey being right here on the, this side. We'll show you a couple angles from it. So basically what's gonna happen is we're either gonna get the hands on the mat or sometimes their hands are on the side. When I'm ready to go, I'm gonna open my legs, shrimp out slightly so I'm on my elbow or my, on my hip, sit to my elbow and then my hand. Now some people will do this on their elbow but I get a lot more drive by pushing on my hand here. I'll show you that in a minute. From here, trap the arm because again, I'm getting ready to go this direction and I want to prevent him from being able to reach out with his hand and stop me. So pinch the elbow tight and then from here, we're going to drive up and take him over. Now, as soon as you get to mount, you want to get wide with your hands, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And I like to get the feet glued up under the hips. If we go here in a grapevine, that's fine, but it's easier for them to straighten out their legs and then they've got inside position with their feet, which is harder for me to deal with. But if I go here, it's harder for them to get their legs on the inside. Better position for me, okay? Now let's look at it from the opposite direction. So I'll include a couple of options for you guys um, as far as the Kimura down in the links below. But basically, there's a lot of different ways to set up the Kimura. Some people go outside. Some people will just kind of pull the hands out to the side here. Another good one is where I push the hand to the hip and I cut the angle and pull them down. But however you set it up, you go for the Kimura. Now again, I like to get up to my hand to finish the sweep because if I'm down here and he starts to really put a lot of pressure on me, it's hard for me to lift my elbow or my hips up. But my hands here, even if he like hugs my waist and squeezes, I can really generate some, some, some big lift going forward, okay? Now again, I'm trapping the arm and the leg here on this side. This leg is going to give me the power. I'm going to lock my arm out and drive my hips up. Boom. And then again, once you get up here, get to the point where all of your weight's on the person. Okay? So that's the basic Kimura sweep. Now what I like about this movement and why I teach it to so many white belts, or why it's one of our basic moves that I want all of our white belts to know, is because it's so useful for so many other things, right? So by itself, right, we can get in, bang, bang, bang. We got a great sweep, right? But even this, like it's a great triangle setup. Like if I, if I let's say if, the, if I can't get the arm to post or the arms kind of stay tucked, I can come up and bash him with my bicep, boom. And there's a triangle setup right there, right? Even then, like a lot of times when we come up here and it's not working, you can go right back, boom, to a, uh, to a guillotine setup. So there's a lot of cool attacks that you can do from the full guard because you're creating a lot of space with it. So I like it for the standalone sweep. Uh, and a great combination to the Kimura by itself, but it's also really useful for creating space. So if you have someone that's trying to just hunker down, you can literally take your bicep across their face or across their body and lift them up and get them off balance to then set up some other submission. So Casey and anybody else that wanted to see the sweep or can make use of this movement, I hope it's helpful to you. I'm finished. Talk to you guys next time.